I played for about three weeks on two ticks when I first started playing Magic Online. Um, a little over half the price of it is of what it is in paper normally. It's normally between a half and two thirds the price. This is good. We'll keep this one. Keep. Spreading seas. We're against an unknown opponent. We would rather have gas. All right. Windswept Heath. What are you playing, Sago Joe? How we drew spreading seas anyway. I'm really glad we shipped it to the bottom then. Island. Vile. So in work where you say like constructed in queues or whatever. Constructed queues. Oh. Hmm. Are you gonna counter my vial or something? Alright. Alright. Obzon stuff. Anyway, so yeah, you're over there. Um, instead of constructed tournaments, there's leagues. Thank you for following Tech Ham. And then you enter a league for 80 play points or 8 ticks. Ooh, Bitter Blossom. So black white tokens. We can beat black white tokens. Okay. Another vial. Not exactly what we were going for. F711. Thank you for following. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so yeah, you go over into leagues and it costs 80 play points or 8 ticks. And it gives you 5 games against other people who are in the leagues. And... If you lose everything, you get the same number of, like, games as you would in 2 mans. Hi there, Siege Rhino Master. Thank you, Merry Christmas. <sighs> yeah, this is what happens in a two-person queue. We get all of these odd decks to play against. Which, I don't know if... I think Carrick said it, but he probably... I don't know. Um, the two-man... Or two-person queue room is like the first three rounds of a GP. And then the league rooms are more like... Or generally more like your other... Your, like... Rounds four plus at a GP. So these are all the little decks you have to weed out first. <sighs> so it's good to learn what they are. I think it's also the two man queues have gotten a, to become a lower competitive level. Well, that sucks, but okay. They do things at weird times, this player does. But yeah, I, I used to like just be able to grind out play points and two man cues. But now I keep seeing a whole bunch of really weird things. So I'm not sure. Alright. I think we're gonna play spreading seas with our mana here. So now they don't have access to any color. Or they have access to blue. And then instep pen for vial and their instep. Yeah, I would I would rather be in a league, but I don't want to spend money to enter a league when I can just sit here and play these and hopefully grind up play points until... Well, of course, they hadn't fetched yet. 
Um, and just grind up play points until I can enter in. Oh. Oh, I think. <sighs> yep. Aw, thanks, C4. Oh, I guess they can use blue to pay for... No, they have to use white or black to pay for the filtering. Lingering Souls resolves. A stop on their own instep. That's strange. Yes, please. I'm I'm going to say yes and get my Reedry out there and then I can play Lord of Atlantis and hopefully another two drop that I draw. Sweet. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Silvergill. Revealing Lord Atlantis, because we're going to cast it in a minute anyway. Yes. Um, a pen. Normally. <laughs> so, like, if I'm writing life totals and things down, I can hold my pen. Hmm. Alright, well, next time I can play Master Waves. And I'll have lots and lots of devotion. Alright. So, we're gonna swing in for the 4-4... Four, four island walk so I don't need to tap any of their stuff so we can do this I think not taking self damage is a big part of success of the deck success um they have to be able to take damage from the opponent in, to be able to win because like they take a little bit they take till turn four or five to win at the minimum um i also like the consistency of monocolored decks and i don't like having to take pain um for my mana base so that's a reason that i really like this deck Yeah, that's what I'm going to do next turn. Next turn. That's a great idea, Robinson. And I can do it on my vial, actually. So I can also play whatever I draw. Ooh, yeah, and if I roll my vial up and I draw Master of the Waves, this is really how you make tokens. What? I should have tapped their island? Or what? Intangible virtue. Creature tokens you control have plus one, plus one, and vigilance. I cannot counter that. That's good. Z4 
he's a flying too, right? Hmm. Yep. I still win. Because it's island walk. I don't even have to make tokens. I'm going to. me as path to exile. Okay. Uh, that's before my vial ticks up, so... Hmm. You are correct. Yeah, he killed. He just killed one lord. He is still dead on board. Alrighty, so sending that. Bam! Tokens all at once. All right, and then now we can attack for lethal. I know. I know. All right, so black white tokens. Dismember's not good here. Here's against the flyers. She can block the flyers. Um their mana costs are all over the place. Tiebinder's not the right color. Negate's good. Okay, and then... Vapor Snag's not as good. I mean, actually, no. Vapor Snag is a, it's a kill spell now. Yeah, Master Waves! The coolest card! <laughs> Alright, so I think going wide to go around, like, to actually stand off with their tokens is important. Um, Curse Catcher is not what we're looking for, and we're going to be on the draw, so it makes them significantly worse. I think he's worse than... I think we're we would rather have Spreading Seeds than Curse Catcher. Yeah. Chalice on one to get rid of their hand disruption. Hmm. That's true, and Chalice does block the removal. Okay, so if I take Kira out and bring Chalice in. Like, Spell Pierce can keep two creatures off the field or more. I mean, Chalice is much slower on the draw. And Kira can block their flyers. But okay, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to cast Path and stuff like that. Two vials, two lands... Three lords. This is basically a mold of six because of the second vial, but it is a fantastic mold of six, so we'll keep it. Mm -hmm. 
Right, that's what I had to start with, uh, Siege Rhino Master. Um, and then I was convinced to tr bring in Chalice, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright. They can't take land, so it doesn't really matter. We hope they take a vial. Put only one. Yes! Hey! Folk. Yeah, but Kira can block. That's why I was thinking I should bring Kira in. And she's a 2-2, two -two, so she blocks until they get their pump and then she trades. Yeah, he took a vial instead of a lord when I had two vials. So I was gonna play one. I mean, you think they might have disenchant? I guess that's possible. Alright, so they don't know about these other two lands. But they know about every they know about the lords, so Smells like a wrath. Actually it could be. And I always forget to play or to play around those things. Alright, now they know that I have two more islands. And they, I lose a lord. Okay. Oh, uh, they probably should. But I guess Raz hit themselves, so I don't know, maybe not. It's like an emergency reset button if they need it. They'll just block it and get eaten, that's okay. So I don't need to make it... I, well, okay, if they don't block, I can pump it up to 3 power. Yeah, generally, Tokens is going to be able to build a board faster than most other creature ace decks. Merfolk is one exception. Merfolk can often dump their hand onto the board, especially if Rejury gets to stick. Okay. Intangible void or vo virtue. I don't know why I was trying to read that wrong. You didn't attack? Why didn't you attack? I guess you want to double block a lord or something? No. Keep it at two. Might as well play it. And if they double block, I do lose one of my lords, and I don't really want that to happen. So actually, not attacking is probably wise. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. Alright, spreading seas. Because these guys have vigilance. Mm 
All we need is a season we've won. Isn't Timely Reinforcements four mana? I could be remembering wrong. They'll probably block one each, offer to trade, and then I can eat them, so... Okay, it's three. Thanks, guys. They must smell the trick. How did you know the Merfolk matchup? blocks were not a blowout we still have this game <laughs> very nice Rathmore that's great oh and hi Carrick by the way I have an island you knew about actually they were not paying attention because they did know about a third island Curse catcher, nothing. All right. Yeah, I'll get a land. All right, so we need spreading seas, and then we need to draw into a lord. That still won't do it. Dolphins, dolphins won 1972. Thanks for following. Oh, that's not what we need. All right, now we're hurting. These guys are going to catch up to us, and a vigilance is a problem. Yeah, it looks like game two is over. The base 80. Thanks for following. Okay. We 
do not have Echoing Truth. Narctin, thanks for following. Oh, Jesus. All right. Game three. All right, now we're on the play, so Chalice gets better. And yes, there were plenty of one drops that Chalice would hit me good for us. So. I think we're actually sided just fine. Oh, I mean, we could bring in Kira. But what would she be better than? I don't know. We we'll just submit it. Oh uh, yes, I will go first. Thank you. Um, actually keepable, even though it's one land because of this vial, these vials. And I just get a nice curve running up. And if they thought seeing me right away again, they'll probably just take my vial. <laughs> uh. I love the Merfolk puns. Keep them coming. <laughs> Bitter Blossom is three mana, isn't it? Or two mana? I don't know. Okay, two mana. Thank you. Yes. So, so we won't get. We won't be stopping Bitter Blossom. Alright, let's see if they take Vile again. Maybe they'll take Spreading Seas. If it were me, I would take Silvergill. Probably. Maybe Spreading Seas. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Yeah, they took my second Aether Vial. Which would have been my play because I couldn't play anything else, but. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> That's okay. I would rather him take the second Vial. The first one I, I need, but the second one, they can take. I'm sorry. Well, speaking of chips, I should go eat some chips. We've got chips. Oh, there's Disenchant. Okay. Now I'm screwed. Or... Er, now I'm likely in trouble. <laughs> ha! Top deck. Put us back two turns, though. They did take game two. Skillless. Thanks for following. <laughs> I ripped a vial, which is good enough. Nero Shield. Thank you for following. Yeah, a land would have been better, but... Yep. Yeah. 
a land would be very nice here. Spell Pierce is a turn late, but that's okay. Irvine Top, thank you for following. He's not going to take my spell pierce. Is he? I don't know. I'm going to let that resolve. Because even if he takes my spell pierce, I would have just spell pierced it. And they would have paid for it and they gotten something else. So. Aww. Me and my friends were probably the culprits last night. Were you like three millimeters tall and living in a gingerbread house in my house? A house and a house and a house. <sighs> he took Silvergill Adept. Probably the right choice. Well, I guess that's in step, so. <laughs> it was tasty. I like gingerbread. Take that back. <laughs> <sighs> oh boy oh definitely it was a ladies night and the plan was gingerbread houses and champagne and between four of us we got through almost three bottles of champagne so it was awesome but I did not pretend to be like a giant t-rex eating a house that would have been pretty fun I should do that <sighs> like, ah. What do you mean, poor Carrick? You were a T Rex? Very nice. That was very important. If that just disenchant had resolved, we would have lost the game. I had no chance. And they knew I had a spell pierce. They didn't play around it. No blocks. In step. Please. Oh, it's too late. I think I already hit okay. I should have vialed in master and then ticked it up for rejury although it doesn't matter if I do it right now or not okay um so I'm not trying to raise it to four so not I don't know, maybe I should have gone in step. I'm not sure which is better. Uh, I don't know. We got a vapor snack, so at least, at least save our master. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> C4 joins the pun party! Nothing wrong with vodka, steak, and magic. Nothing. <laughs> that one was really good, C4. Was that one on purpose? Scale. Scale. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, this game is just, like tedious and embarrassing. What did they take? They took Mara Regery. All right. Yeah, I might need to snag one of his tokens. Slow the clock down for me. Or I could snag my own lord. But I won't even be able to play him again. <coughs> At least there's no guarantee. I'd rather have a land, actually. That's going to help. Thank you for land number two. Ah, school us on fish once. Ha! Okay, that was funny. <laughs> I know, right? I would have been totally fine if that Reedry had been a land when I drew it. I would have been better off, actually. Hmm. Problematic. Wish I had a spell pierce and not a vapor's nag. You're correct. Burn them for one and get rid of two life. Another land. I should have not played that yet. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I can't cast her. I guess we're spreading seas. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, my headset did its little like wiggle in and out or whatever thing, and. Um, like, so it was out for like two seconds, probably. Yeah, it's my headset doing it. It's not in great condition. It says plus one, right? So in five turns, or yeah, in four turns, we'll be able to kill it. Five turns. Five turns, we'll kill Soren. <laughs> no big deal. Oh, rippling, that's good. Ah. Thanks, me. Oh, I love puns, they're great. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate sure we lose to our own deck right now. Hideaway land, really? What's your, what's the hideaway condition? If you attacked with three or more creatures this turn? Oh, face down is what that says. Face down card. Okay. No, 
not so good. I mean, that's game. I can't even cast my Silver Gill. Ugh. 